There are some people in life who have nothing better to do than just get involved in other people's business. And some of us think that it's just Islamic that if I just hit the musalla and pray all day and grow my beard and wear a hijab, then I must be the perfect Muslim. But some of us don't realize the social sins that we get involved in. And the Messenger of Allah says, من حسن الإسلام المرء تركه ما لا يعنيه That the beauty of a believer's faith is that it stops him or her engaging in other people's business. Like the fact that if it's got nothing to do with you, you just stay away from it. It's got nothing to do with you. Now, what we end up doing is that we want to investigate people's sins. We want to get up like who's going out with who and she's not wearing a hijab today. Or what kind of Muslim is she? Ramadan's just finished. Or man, it's about time that dude grew, grew his beard. There's so much more to Islam. And by no means am I trivializing aspects of deen. But I seem, I seem to observe that many of us sometimes over prioritize and restrict deen to this kind of narrow perspective yet we don't realize socially how much harm we cause other people the messenger of allah says uh, somebody who actually actively goes out to break ties with people whether that's in in reality in life every day or on social media where you just go and gossip about people you make fun out of people you make fun out of somebody's nose and then you know take a snap and then put it onto your snapchat onto your whatsapp groups and everyone just making fun and, and you think that for some reason you're doing God a favor by praying? Allah will not forgive you until that individual who you harmed forgives you. Honestly. And that's why in the Akhirah, the biggest losers are those who engage in third party sin. What I refer to is that when people will sue us on the day of Qiyamah, literally, Malik Yomidin, God is the master of the day of judgment, people will sue us on the day of judgment every time we infringe other people's rights. The Prophet says in a hadith, that let somebody's own fault stop them from investigating other people's sins. The Quran says, May God's curse, and you know, wail is, uh, some scholars say that God is damning these people. Another interpretation is it's a place in hell, it's a valley in hell. God said, may, the, may these people go to hell who investigate the sins of other people. So all I'm saying is that part of our piety and righteousness and taqwa in our post-Ramadan is just kick back and chill and just focus on your own deeds. You don't have to investigate other people's. And if you also bothered, then you know go and wish them some well. Instead of talking about somebody to everyone else, pull that person aside and say, you know what, I'm really concerned about you. I know I'm struggling with my deen, but maybe we can improve together on this particular point. But to speak ill of people and spread gossip, honestly, mind your own business. Genuinely, mind your own business business and there's more chance of you going to Jannah as a result inshallah.